Are we doing it uh, the way it says? No, you're going to do it the way I told you. The menu says medium. No, yeah, but I'm telling you this way. Oh, so I'm telling oh, well, you. Then. Today. I'm going to make you the best shake in the world right now. Just do it because you're taking way too long. Oh, he's the baby. He's the manager. He's the manager. I'm Eric Casaburi, CEO and founder of Retro Fitness. The first thing that I took note of was how you treated some of our members. Okay. It makes no sense that you would treat someone that way. None. Sorry. Like, I don't know what you want me to say, but in that situation. You did it in front of the CEO. But of I didn't the know it was him, obviously. I wouldn't well, have done that. That makes it worse. You have to part ways. Bye, bitch. I'm a good person. I really am. Shut up, bitch. Bro, she really said that she shouldn't have done it if she only knew that he was the CEO. <laughs> yeah, she just kept digging herself into a hole until she made a grave for herself. And how can we forget the crocodile tears, of course? She's crying because she got caught, not because she feels remorse on how she treated members. That's just victim mentality and textbook snake behavior. As Muhammad Ali said, I don't trust anyone who's nice to me but rude to the waiter because they would treat me the same way if I were in that position. Shout out to the coolest CEO that I've ever seen on the internet. He did what has to be done. Simple as that and you still ain't clint up or nothing you still got this i'm all. not letting you go i don't have time for this i got i'm not letting you go Ooh, what listen you listen just hear me out I don't i'm miss pregnant you. i'm pregnant i don't believe you i don't believe you. I, don't. I showed you the ultrasound what you mean look at all this what, look at all this what trash you mean? i showed stuff. you the ultrasound look look at all I'm, this you look 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 you don't see the, the gnats in here flying around in here stuff? I'm throwing it away. I'm cleaning up as we speak. People, I'm on people, my knees. People say anything just to keep... No, I'm not... I don't have time So who been that. telling you that? Somebody been feeding information in your head. Bruh. Because if I say I'm pregnant, I'm pregnant. You see, I've gained weight. How old are you? 21. How old she look? 32. My big sister, 32. And little sister? I'm the little sister. How old's the little sister? I'm the little sister. How old is she? 21. Okay. Name five things that you have to offer a man. Uh, nothing, 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 and nothing. You ain't with that one. <laughs> You're not serious, though. I am serious. So why would a man even want to look your way if you can't add value to his life? Well, down if you got the bag down. Right. Thank you. Thank you, you to spend the money down. So let. So let's say the man has the bag and he wants to spend the money. What does he get back? Why do it always got? I feel like you talking. To, you said you want pussy like that. I feel like that's what you're talking about. Why do it have to always be about dick and pussy? Right. Like ask some old question. Like what? What? Co what's my favorite color? You know what I'm saying? Right. Nigga. Yeah. Let's get to know each other. What color is my motherfucking real hair? <laughs> Hurry up! <laughs> you forgot to tell us to calm down. All right, next one. Can your man have a side piece? For me, I am not okay with like cheating or side pieces or anything like that, so no. Aww. But if you discuss it beforehand and you want an open relationship or if you're into polygamy, then sure, I'm cool with it. So I'm open to that, but. So you would want a side piece as well? I wouldn't want a side piece necessarily. So when it comes to those types of relationships, it's not considered a side piece. It's like you guys are experimenting, going out with different people because it's a part of your relationship. But if you're in a monogamous relationship, then no, I don't think you should have a side. Real men this, real men that. You know what real men don't do? Real men don't talk. All these men you see all the time talking, talking, talking. You know what real men don't do? Is listen to people like you. Fellas, like we can't do shit on this earth. Like fucking hell. God forbid a man lives on earth. Anyone else have a problem where their wife just dresses up beautiful like themselves, but then acts like a bitch for the rest of the day? Andrew! What is one thing that you've never told your ex? I f***ed his grandpa while he wasn't home at work. In a public Starbucks. In a public Starbucks. Actually, I cannot believe these people. Why are you
literally sitting on here in a public Starbucks. That is so embarrassing. There's literally a kid here. There's literally a kid. I'm gonna do that in a public Starbucks. Bro. You know what's actually inappropriate to do in a public Starbucks? Film people to post on social media to make fun of them for likes and attention. And as far as PDA goes, this is not that bad. These are just two young kids that are in love and she's sitting on his knee. It's not that big of a deal. I have seen much, much worse. And when people tried to tell you this, your response was that you're going to embarrass them. Seriously? And then you go and you beg people not to bully you, even though that's exactly what you're doing to these two people. Treat others the way you want to be treated. If you don't want to be bullied, don't bully others. You need to do better. Mind your own business. This is the definition of W man's a sexual fantasy that you feel like you might be able to do for the other person that you want to, like, you know, fulfill. Not a bum ass question. Can, I, bum -ass can I answer it? Yeah. Go ahead. Right now, in the car, when y'all get out. So. I mean, if you talk that kind of shit, you better back it up. Now, I don't know what happened. Someone in the comments, let me know what happened. I personally don't think that this podcast and panel is going to fix shit for society. But hey, to each their own. They already know what you're going to do. They know that even if you only are only making $200 a month. Okay. That on OnlyFans, that you're going to go back so that you can have your illustrious career in lingerie right. sales on OnlyFans. I will. It's not for you. It's for the hundreds upon hundreds of thousands mm -hmm. of people who watch this. It's mm -hmm. not for you. Okay. We know what you're going to do. Okay. You're going to be a 304 for the rest of your life. <laughs> but it's not. It, we're talking about all the people who Wait, see you, it. You, no, you're, okay. you're rage quitting? Yeah, yeah, actually... Wait, you're, you're rage quitting because... I'll come back. Have an adult conversation. Talk some shit back. Do you want to come back? <laughs> you on a screen to go ahead and go and call me a 304 on a live? That's so disrespectful. Yeah, but is it true? No! Stop the cap. <laughs> Listen, I've told you before, we ain't doing it. The sun's going down and so am I. Oh, oh okay. Kids. There's kids everywhere. But you love me? Yeah. Okay. Why is it that the finest guys in the world, and also single, never leave the house? Is there a reason for that? Because avoiding headaches, problems, and drama is delicious. Those men just want to live their life and keep their peace of mind. Babe. Babe. Mm. So what is something that you would like love to see me in? Another car. How rude. I'm just saying because like you is deserve the best and I think that a more upgraded version, maybe like a 2022, I think that would be... You are so manipulative. Because <laughs> that is not what you meant. It's not, but like, you know... He it's said it's not. <laughs> I'm going to fucking get out. I think <laughs> your boyfriend is perfect, oh. and I love him. Oh, and oh, Kelly is... Oh, fuck. <laughs> what is one thing that you've never told your ex? I f***ed his grandpa while he wasn't home at work. What do you look for in a man? Confidence. Me, that. Yeah, you that. Nice smile. Me that. Yeah. Lux. Oh. Yeah, Lux. Love them. I actually do love them. Thanks. You have really nice teeth too. Good, because enough people here and I brush them teeth. I like how your teeth just white. <laughs> I don't know if it's a London thing. I've seen a lot of yellow teeth since I've been here. Really? Young. But, yeah, but your teeth, them just perfect. You know, me, I see myself in your teeth, them right now. <laughs> oh, did I upset your girlfriend? Is she upset because I'm a girl? Here, I'll ask her in a second. You know what would be even better? I can actually talk to her. Hi. I just wanted to say that your boyfriend sounds really hot. Oh, really? What type of guys do you like? I like your guy. You don't even know what he looks like, so I don't know what you mean. Is she jealous? Are you jealous, man? Well, if you could take him, he's all yours, boo. <laughs> Is she watching over you now? Are you technically watching over me? <laughs>
<laughs> I don't think we're gonna be allowed to play again after this. Do you care? Can I talk to her again? Here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Close the door. Oh, she's upset. You should probably hop off the game and talk to her. You gotta make it right. But if you want, I can get on the mic and I can talk to her and tell her it's a joke. I tried to tell her it was a joke. She's not gonna believe it. All girls are the same, even you. Excuse me? <laughs> Look, you got offended. So easy. Oh! Hey, I'm not gonna lie, she's a menace for doing this shit to that girl. But the guy is still winning either way. <laughs>